Hello and welcome everyone, this is Brad from Light Architect and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Light Architect to be used inside of Blender 3D. Before we go through this tutorial, you'll need to have downloaded Blender 3D from Blender.org. Blender is the open source 3D software that Light Architect adds on to, so you'll be able to download it just by clicking on one of their download links for whichever operating system you need it for. The second thing you'll need to have is the Light Architect add-on and script. You can get this from www.lightarchitectaddon.com click on one of the purchase buttons and follow through a few basic steps. Anyway, let's get started here. So when you download the Light Architect file from the website, it'll come into zip folder. Go ahead and find that zip folder that you downloaded. And the first step we're going to take is just opening up that zip folder. So right click it and open. And it's just unzipping our file here into a new folder. So once we've unzipped our Light Architect file here into this new folder, we're going to move this folder under applications for Mac. Since I'm on Mac, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this under applications and go ahead and click on applications make sure you have the light architect folder under applications this is a very important step because if the light architect folder is not under applications then the script won't work and the add-on won't be able to find your 3d models it's also important not to rename the light architect folder or any of the contents within it anyway once we've moved the folder to the correct area we're going to go ahead and open up blender and finish the installation process and the first thing we're going to do is i'm just going to clear my scene here I'm going to press B and then click and drag to select all of these three objects and just press X and delete. Now I'm going to switch on the top here to Cycles Render. The Light Architect lights and materials are designed to be used in the Cycles Rendering Engine, so it's very important that this says Cycles at the top here. Once we switch to Cycles Rendering Engine, we're going to go to the top here to File, User Preferences, then go ahead and make sure Add-ons is selected, then go to Install Add-on from File. And now we're just going to navigate to the Light Architect folder. So again, for Mac, we've put it under Applications. And let's see here, as you can see, we have it right here. Go ahead and click on the folder. Yeah, then we're going to click on this file that says LA Install File Mac, or for Windows, LA Install File Windows. Go ahead and click it and press Install Add-on from File. And it should pop up here on the right side, Append Light Architect. But if you can't find it, you can just type in on the search bar light and it should pop up here. Go ahead and click on the checkbox next to the add-on and if you like go ahead and click on save user settings so you don't have to do this process every time you open up Blender. Then we can just exit the window. If you've done everything correctly then there should be these two panels at the bottom here. One's called light architect and one's called build. These are the two light architect panels that you can add to your scene with. If you click on a button it should add an object to your scene. And now Light Architect is working inside of Blender 3D. In the next video, we're going to be going over some basic settings that I recommend in order to get the most out of the add-on. At Light Architect, we understand that this might be the first time using Blender for many of our users, and there's a little bit of a learning curve, but we've done our very best to make it as simple as possible to get started in setting up your scenes. 